parties in the matter of Brady versus Lindsay. Step forward. Trudy Brady is suing 24-year-old Marasha Lindsay for an unpaid loan for a car down payment. Miss Brady, you were working at a used car lot, is that right? Correct. How long have you worked there? Since October 23rd of last year. And on what date did you sell Miss Lindsay a car? January 15th of 2016. What kind of car did you sell her? 2006 Toyota Avalon. And she financed it? Correct. How much did you sell it to her for? $11,950. And what was your commission on the $11,950? Total and commission that I would receive would be $559.40. This is what your complaint is. Miss Lindsay didn't have sufficient funds to make the down payment. Correct. Is that correct? No, ma'am. You had sufficient funds to make the down payment? That's how I got in the car, Your Honor. No, that's not my question. Miss Brady says that she made a loan to you for part or all of the down payment. So my question to you is, you bought a car for $11,950. You had to put a certain amount down on the car in cash. Yes. How much was the down payment that had to be placed on the car? $2,500. How much money did you have? $980. Where did you get the rest of the money from? Ms. Brady. Your Honor, that's incorrect Shh. information. I didn't ask you anything. How were you supposed to pay her back the fifteen twenty dollars In payments. Starting when? Um, I got paid weekly, so as soon as I got paid again. Okay. And you bought the car in mid-January? Yes. So you're supposed to start making your first payment to her a week later? Yes. Did you make it? Yes. How much was it? I made payments in increments of $60. $60 a week? Yes, but it was also money taken out of my account that I have here. No, no, no. Taking out of your account was for the finance company. No, it wasn't. It was for her. My, the finance company was a completely different company than the car dealership. But I have right here, it's exactly to that car dealership, not the finance company. Well, this loan was not to the car dealership. This was a loan she made you personally for the down payment. But that's how she was collected the money through the car dealership. The 980 as well as the 309 and the 206. That's all incorrect. Everything she said is incorrect. It doesn't make sense it, to me. It's not I have it right here. Well, I'd like to take a look at it, what you have. I also have the correct paperwork right here. This is the loan agreement here. Select motor cars. Is that where you work? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what were these payments that were made to select motor cars on February 16th of 2016, on January 19th of 2016, January 11th of 2016? Why in the world should she make a payment January 11th, 2016? She didn't even own the car then. The correct bills, and I have the original receipts here. When she walks into my office to pay me, I write out a receipt right then because she's coming during when I'm at work. Her correct payments were on the 15th of January. February 13th, 26th of February, the 12th of, of March, the 27th of March, and the 29th of April. I'd like to see this it. is a summation. Shh, 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 shh. You signed this document? Yes. And you signed that on the day that you purchased the car? Um, I'm not sure. I started signing January 15th. Oh, yes. She says that you made payments on the money that you owed her, and the only balance left was $1,030. But, Yana, the balance keeps going up. The balance didn't go up until I totaled the car and found out that I had insurance would be getting money back. That's when the balance started going up. Just a second. 